I have spent a good amount of time digging into Trey AI and Cursor, testing them out, seeing where they actually deliver and where they don't. This is not a sponsored video, it's just my honest take after really using both. So if you've been thinking about trying either one, hopefully this saves you some time. So now, let's start with Trey. It's clean, lightweight, and built more like a no-frills co-pilot. You can ask it questions about your code base, generate functions, refactor, and it's especially great for solo devs or smaller teams who want AI help but don't need full IDE integration. Cursor, on the other hand, feels like a full-on AI-first code editor. It's built on VS Code and the AI context window is smart. You can literally talk to your code base. It's better at understanding larger code projects, has better autocomplete, and it handles things like inline edits, file aware generation, and even test writing more smoothly. But the downside here that I can think of is that cursor can feel a bit heavier. And if you're just looking for a simple assistant, it might be overkill. Trey is lighter, faster, and sometimes just more focused. So if you're not into heavy tasks, then I think you would like Trey better. So if you're working on a large code basis or want a full AI native IDE, then Cursor is definitely hard to beat on that specific field. But if you'd want something simple, easier to onboard, and good for focus tasks, then Trey is surprisingly solid. So that's it for my review on Trey AI versus Cursor. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.